In this video, I'm gonna walk through how to create a sub account inside of High Level. If you're new into High Level, I'm gonna go over some of the nuances and some of the confusing parts if this is totally new to you. For right now, it's just about getting familiar with the system, getting acclimated, and maybe learning some of those nuances. If we haven't met before, my name is Matt Tassino. I own a company called HL Pro Tools and our team makes it easy for you to succeed in high level. Anything from tips and trips to white label support direct to your users. Uh, we are behind all of the enterprise clients when it comes to high level side and we help anybody starting out to launching and growing to multiple seven figures. So I'm gonna share my screen and jump into it right now. Here we are, an uh, account you might see just like this. Not for long though, when you start getting sales in there. But so we're gonna come over to sub accounts over here and this is our little demo account we're gonna go blank snapshots it doesn't matter about there and we're gonna go add account manually if you have a GMB location you can search it and it'll pre-fill those details if you have them on like a GMB or already in Google but if you don't you can just go ahead and create this account manually and you're gonna go through and type in all of the information this detail the account info this is gonna be tied to the company doesn't create a user or anything like that um, but you do have to put it in there. So this is gonna be a location is what they call it, those sub accounts, information tied to that company. So you think of it like the business owner is what usually goes there. Then we're gonna go through and uh, put in the business name. I'm not gonna call it my name, I'm gonna call it Matt Demo. You can put in the address there. Um, that's awesome, put in the city. And all of this, this information, why this is important. These are the defaults for time zones for contact. So you do wanna have accurate information for uh, the location of the business because by default, any contact that's in there is gonna fall back to whatever this is. So right now I'm gonna put in uh, Los Angeles. Awesome. There we go. Um, website's optional. Time zone, they now actually ask you to designate it. But so once again, this is gonna be that default time zone for any contact in there. I'll show you what that means a little bit later. But so we're gonna click on save. And now you see it instantly creates the account and takes you to some area where you can set some preferences here, right? So by default, when you do a manual creation, it's not under SaaS mode. What does that mean? It's not gonna like have the rebilling features because there's no credit card enabled to it. But if you scroll down, you see here, you can actually toggle that SaaS mode on. It's gonna ask you to like connect it to a billing profile. But we'll go top to bottom, we got account, general info, this is stuff we put in there. It, it doesn't ask you for social profiles on the setup now, which is nice, um, but you can fill those in here if you have any of the social profiles attached to the account. Um, this will show if they have any active services. This is the paid thing. So if you're doing SaaS mode, if you're doing rebuilding, this is what that looks like. And you can add in manage services specifically from high level. Um, for your account, but you'll see that over there. Yext, these are two things that High Level allows your direct users to buy inside of the account. If you turn this on or turn it off, it's not gonna prompt them to sign up. If you turn it on, then it will prompt them to sign up. So same thing with WordPress, I'll, I'll leave that on. Um, and so you, you have a range of what you can do in terms of your price and uh, your plan right there. They basically have these in here that allows you to uh, upsell it is what's going on. And um, and I can turn these off because I don't need them. But SAS mode down here at the bottom is, um, if I try to toggle that on, you see it's gonna, one, I'm gonna need to create a user. It's gonna uh, need me to make them an admin of that location. And then it's gonna need me to attach that user to an actual billing profile inside of my Stripe accounts. I don't think we have that all set up. So for now, all I'm gonna do is click to switch sub accounts. That's the quick piece. If you just wanted to get over there, you click on switch to sub accounts and it's actually gonna take you into that sub account. Ignore the custom dashboard going on. That's a different widget we've got going on in there. But so that is um, as simple as it gets in terms of having creating an account manually and then allowing yourself to access it. I wanna talk through a couple of the nuances here. One. If you are brand new, you will need your own sub accounts. So the agency view is what you get to use for yourself. That's where you can like create the other sub accounts, but you're gonna have your own business as a sub account. Now, depending on the plan that you're on, but more, you know, hopefully it just makes sense. You should be going on those higher plans that have unlimited sub accounts. 
you can do unlimited. So if you're like, I have an agency and I'm starting a new SaaS brand and I've got a personal brand, you can create that as three different sub accounts or what high level calls it as locations. So sub account, location, same thing as what we're talking about. But if you run into like location ID or, um, or the sub account language, they mean the same thing. It's just all of the interior accounts, the accounts that have all the things. So if I look around here, like the, these are the accounts that have, you know, dashboard and reporting and you can have your own contacts and you can have your own automations and you can have your own funnels. Like all of these, basically the powerhouse of features behind a high level live inside of sub accounts. Now to get back to that agency dashboard, we're just gonna click over here and you can toggle over to switch to agency view. Um, but this is also where you can search to find, if I need to come back here, I can search it by name and I can find this sub account. And, and so I can switch between sub accounts and I see this right here. It, don't worry, this view is only for you as an admin. Your regular users or your clients or customers or people who are even an admin of a sub account, they only see their, their singular sub account. They can't toggle to other views or stuff like that. But so that is how you create a sub account from scratch if you're brand new starting out inside of high level and uh, hopefully clarifies a couple of little terminology nuances and uh, sets you on your way to going out there and using this for your clients or selling it as SaaS. I guess the last thing that I'll leave this with you, if you're brand new, and you're getting eager about automating everything, my encouragement would be you don't need to automate everything. This video, we're, we've been doing this for you know roughly five minutes. If it takes you five minutes to manually go through the process for each one of your new clients that you sign up, I think it's, it's not a difficult thing. So don't get bogged down and feel like you need to set everything up before you can start selling and delivering value to customers. You could easily sell this and then manually do that setup for five minutes and call it your first five times, or first, five, first 10 times, even if you do it manually. Not the worst thing in the world. And, and now you make sure you're, you're spending your time on the thing that's gonna move the needle in your business and help you to grow and get out there and ultimately build something that serves you, allows you to, as you see the sign in the back there, profit more and work less. So uh, that's it. Hopefully this was a helpful video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe and like. That just tells YouTube that I made some good stuff and it also lets you know when the latest stuff gets delivered.